Hey everyone, today we'll be looking at creating a simple X particle sand effect. And we will also learn various techniques such as these luminant lights, uh, which if you run through the animation, it as goes, it reveals the particles. So let's see what we'll be learning today. So we noticed as these lights, they travel, they reveal the particles. So without waiting, let's jump in to Cinema 4D and X Particles. We'll start by creating a basic texture material. So we go to create new material. Let's start with alpha channel and then I'll tell you where uh, we are going ahead with this. So let's go to alpha texture and simple choose a gradient here and a gradient let's go and choose a circular radius add a turbulence of 10 to 15 uh, or whatever amount you want um, I work generally between 10 to 20 let's quickly swap these two points add another point here and make it black so this is where it looks like on the zero frame let's add a P frame let's go to frame 70 and let's move this all together on this side of the world maybe a bit close and add a keyframe again so now if you reverse the animation this is how it should look like that's being done uh, let's switch off reflectance we don't need reflectance let's go to luminance uh, switch on luminance same process texture gradient under gradient we go to circular gradient and what we'll do this time is we'll add a white here next to the black spot and we create it as a white and let's make the last one as a black and let's bring it all together if you want let's add a texture of turbulence of 20 now at this particular frame we add another keyframe and let's now go to frame 70 let's go all the way back here here and this goes to and add another keyframe. If you rewind and play, this is how the animation should look like. So it creates an outline that I was trying to show you guys before. That being done, um, let's close our material editor and we'll come back to it later. Now we need a text. So we go to more graph, more text. Uh, object let let it make a uh, middle i will choose font let's say something like snap itc uh, you can choose whatever your font you like and i'm just typing sand i'm also going to add some caps and let's say put a cap and give one radius um, Thing for end as well this is looking good once we have done that uh, let's add a subsurface uh, let's add a connect object drag the motex into the connect object uh, we don't need these welding marks so let's go to connect and uncheck weld this is looking good hold the connect object press C or you can come and click this make editable the shortcut C and it makes a uh, one object i'm removing these tags as we don't need them i'll also remove my uv tag now let's drop our materials on the sand and the moment we do that we see some random uh, way of animation coming these lights are not coming as we would have wanted them and a quick uh, fix is select the tag come to projection and make it frontal 
Once you do that, let's rewind and let's see. And we see this frontal projection happening here. Uh, it may be starting from here, which we will not want. So right now, you can move your object up. Choose the angle that you want. Let's say play. And now if you want it to start somewhere from here, how it travels up, and this is how it will continue to reveal all the particles inside it. If you want, uh, you can also play with the angle a bit and getting this object somewhere down here. And it seems looks good to me. Right click on the texture tag and say generate UV coordinates. Once you do that, anywhere you place your object, the UV uh, maps coordinates will travel with it. That being said, uh, right now, one problem that's happening is even while these lines are going through our object, it's not coming as it should disappear and then come back. And in order to do that is, let's go to materials, switch on alpha. And the moment we switch on alpha, what's happening here is if we rewind and see, everything is not visible, but we play, it appears. We basically want the animation to be inverted. So we go here and just click on invert. Once you do that, let's rewind and let's play. And that's perfect. That's how exactly we would have wanted this animation to run. Now we'll just go back to color and I will just bump up the green a bit, reduce a bit of blue values and add a little bit more red to here. And that looks okay to me. Once this has been done, uh, we'll also go and create a shader X material X particle materials and just leave it there for some time. Let's go to X particle and add an X particle system. Once been done under emitters, add a new emitter. And at this stage, if we play, we see nothing happens. It's emitting from here, but not from the objects as I've seen uh, shown earlier into the video. To do that, what we need to do is go to object from emitter shape. We choose an object and we drag our connect object under the object. Also, we want uh, the emission not from a polygon center, but from our texture. Now let's go grab the texture tag into the texture and on the emit channel from color, let's make it to luminance. In color channel, we just make it none for this tutorial. What luminance will do is it will only add your particles from these areas. Let's rewind and see how it works. And you see, it's just generating particles here, but right now they are traveling all over the place and there are very few particles. And we can easily fix it by going to emission and making the speed to zero. Uh, and let's add 50,000 particles as of now, but we'll generate more. Uh, as we go towards our final render and this is already looking good uh, but what's not happening is it's not falling down and what we can do easily do that is go to modifiers we go to motion modifier and choose a gravity we will also go back to motion modifier and add a bit of turbulence we can leave it as is the default setting for both and let's go and play this and we see it immediately it's looking a lot better and closer to our original animation. Once we are done with that, uh, we would need probably more particles. So the idea is as these particles generate, they should generate more particles from them as well. Uh, in order to do that, let's go to modifier. Let's go to generate and just choose spawn. Under spawn, uh, let's go back to emitters tag again and create a new emitter. Let's go back to spawn modifier and drag our new emitter, which is emitter one into spawning emitter. We'll just make quick changes here. Uh, in direction, right now if you play, uh, we'll see it's being generated at the all at the bottom. We don't want it that. We just want it to happen in the same relative to source particle direction. Let's do that. Let's go to amount speed as relative to source particle as well or you can inherit uh, and inherit you can decide what's the amount of speed it does so we can do 
five times let's go back let's play and right now we see it's falling like this uh, you can change the values and this is where you need to come and experiment you can also make relative to source particle let's rewind and let's run it again uh, so the slight variation in how the particles are forming uh, but this is exactly uh, the place where you need to come and experiment with x particles uh, spawning particle life i would also say relative to source particle and let's go back and hit play again okay that's been done and done just make sure under here we are choosing spawn only once what will do it it will kind of fix the spawning to only one time and not so each particle will not spawn about 300 times again and again and again uh, so this way we will have a little less particle but more control on our animation and due to turbulence we see all this different variation coming in and how these particles are falling if you want you can go back uh, decrease the turbulence a bit uh, I'll also decrease it to about 80 percent uh, that being done uh, we are almost done with our animation uh, now we just need to apply X particle that on our emitter one which is spawning an emitter and also to emitter basic one which is creating a lot of particles for us um, what we can also do at this stage is we can generate a kill modifier what a kill modifier does is any extra particles which is falling outside uh, the CPU doesn't have to generate those uh, so those can be actually killed immediately and we will save some rendering time here I'm just making a little small uh, making sure the width is enough to take care of our area bring it a little up this place zoom out a bit and let's increase a bit of this so it covers more area that being done uh, one more element that you need to do is select X, uh, XP fill and don't forget to change the volume to inside bounds from outside bounds otherwise what will happen is this particles we see are just getting killed here because this is way too close but if we keep it as an outside bond you will not see any particle because any particle which is getting generated outside the frame is getting killed instantly so we make it inside we go back here we bring our box a bit down so at least we can see some of these frames getting generated let's go back rewind play and we see a lot of particles being generated across one of the things which you can see is it's falling outside this area so we go back here we just increase this to ensure it's taking care of all the particles and not just the ones which is within that area that seems okay to me uh yeah that seems better let's go back rewind and see how these particles look like at this stage uh, everything is looking good except the fact there is just way too less particle in the system and in order to fix that what we will do is we'll just go back to our emitter and we'll add about 1,50,000 particles uh, and instead of doing a full life stamp we say these particles will have only 30 train and then we'll keep generating a new particle every time uh, we can also take this Let's move it a bit up and rewind and play uh, remember this will be a little slow because we have added a hell lot of particles right now and that being said this is looking good uh, let's quickly go and render this to see how it's coming I'm really don't liking these flying shapes here so probably I'm just gonna take the turbulence tab off let's go back and play and see how it travels uh, this is looking much better to me I'll go to render settings I'm keeping the width and height same you will see already X particle is added here go to save choose your destination where you want to save the file put the format as mp3 and output just 
use all frames and simply render it into the picture view. Hope you really liked the tutorial and I would love to see you in another one. Thank you for watching this tutorial and see you soon.